White Hashkolchot. My name is Lane Walker, and my native name is Shakakanuk. I'm of the Okanagan, Wenatchee, and Methow bands. I'm the son of James Walker and the grandson of Margie Hutchinson, Sokum Palix. I live in Durango, Colorado, where I'm going into my junior year at Fort Lewis College with a major in cellular and molecular biology. This is my first time being a part of the summer internship program, and where I got to spend it this summer was at Chief Joseph Hatchery, right across from Chief Joseph Dam. The Chief Joseph facility is made up of 40 top raceways, six bottom raceways, three acclimation ponds, a lab, incubation room, and indoor troughs. Because salmon are an important natural resource, they fall under fish and wildlife. Our mission at Chief Joseph Hatchery is to raise and release spring and summer Chinook into the Columbia River. This is to make sure there's a plentiful amount of salmon for member consumption, health of the ecosystem, and ceremonies. There is always something to do at the hatchery, but there are also daily duties that need to be done every day so that the small are happy and healthy. These duties include netting out dead fish and cataloging the amount picked in the raceways and ponds, scrubbing screens for continued flow of fresh water, vacuuming, which is a thing, and feeding which requires to take a sample to represent the population by crowding. The amount taken are weighed and counted to give us the appropriate amount of food for progressive growth. One of the most important parts about the hatchery process is broodstock. Broodstock are salmon being held until they are ready to spawn. Broodstock is collected through two methods. First is the fish ladder slash elevator. The other is by boats that go along the river with purse nets aboard the Dreamcatcher. Fish are sorted, stored on the barge, which are then transported by water truck. Bruce stock are inoculated so that they can be recorded. Wild salmon can be identified by possessing an adipose fin, which is clipped when they're young. What we record is the fish's sex, its weight, and its length. And we also search for tags, and it is then treated with antibiotics. The fish are placed in a raceway that matches its characteristics and waits until spawning. This is when eggs are collected from females and the fish milk from males. They are then combined and activated with water, where they will be incubated until they hatch. The current smolt will become young adults and will be released. The incubating salmon will then take their place and the cycle will begin again. One of the coolest things I got to be a part of near the end of my internship was to participate in the first ever salmon release ceremony, where salmon were transported beyond Chief Joseph Dam for the first time in 80 years since the dams were built. The hatchery's presence is an obligation from the government recognizing our sovereignty, our right to abide by our laws and express our culture. Lamlim, thank you. Thank you.